So here are our recommendations for the study. Okay, so first, uh, the curriculum adjustment. Okay, so curriculum adjustment must be aligned to be aligned to students' needs and in line to the needs of the current situations. Okay, so here, uh, before making curriculum uh, adjustments, it is very important to consider the requirements of all pupils or students because this will assess the student's abilities and capabilities in relation to the new learning adjustment. So that is why it is very important. Okay, and then the next one is that curriculum adjustment must consider the availability of resources and instructional materials used by the teachers for students to learn. Okay, so here a teacher and it must be the, the very essential way to supply uh, students uh, with the materials they need to learn, okay? Because if a teacher is short on materials, students will struggle to cope with the, with the lesson. So that is why teachers must possess or must have the ability to provide the students materials if needed, okay? So learner-centered rather and then the next is that curriculum adjustment must know and recognize the sudden change adjustment and intervention in the curriculum for the sake of having an accessible curriculum for all okay so here uh, it's a must that before engaging in curriculum modifications or adjustment it is very important that they should be carefully planned because if it's not carefully planned uh, the curriculum will br will bring uh, disadvantages through throughout or through the whole year of the class okay so that is why it's very important to plan carefully before engaging something or conducting something that includes the adjustment of, or from the curriculum okay so to keep track of changes in school curriculum material without having to alter the social education framework okay so uh, take note of that so next is to chart each student's individual progress and organize lessons appropriately so in this part providing assessment or provide an assessments that can be used to track each student's progress in the classroom so assessment and that and evaluation is very important in part of a curriculum okay so next is that to uh, to provide systematic assistance to pupils who lack the necessary prerequisites for distance learning okay so here are uh, processing or possessing the capacity to provide suggestions that will increase the students desire to learn so giving them a motivation to learn is a very a teacher thing way of uh, giving your students desire to learn more all right and then next is that to start a dialogue about assessment methodologies their merits and their impact on students learning at the school level okay and then the last one would be to maintain and improve the method of communication with parents that was established during the remote learning phase so here it is a uh, it is kind of maintaining the teacher-student relationship so it must be maintained at all costs because uh, especially in the new learning system that we are having now online uh, it is very hard to to maintain a relationship within the teacher and the student because it might give or it might have a problem but for the teacher and you're a teacher you must you must do it properly you must uh, maintain your relationship through your, through your student so by checking them by assessing them by 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 telling what's going on on their grades or how how are they like that okay okay next slide so the next on our uh, on our recommendation is the alignment of materials okay first teachers as facilitators of learning must be flexible enough in employing instructional materials assuring that all the students can get through the lesson to discuss okay so uh, as i have said earlier so teachers must provide their students with the necessary materials especially in a modified curriculum so providing students a uh, set of materials that they need is a very essential way 
for them to give them drive or motivation just to learn more okay so next is school staff should develop further materials to be promoted in the classroom setup assisting the learners to acquire learning more convenient and accessible for all so here uh school officials or school staffs must always have a plan to make the classroom a cleaner and more a comfortable environment for children why because this form of involvement will motivate learners to develop or to learn more so who doesn't want a a very present presentable class classroom right if we have a presentable classroom the students will oh th this classroom is so good uh it doesn't bother me like that so it is very important for the school officials to year, uh, let's say yearly to have a plan in 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 changing or in maintaining the cleanliness and the the formal uh, design of a classroom okay okay on the next part of the recommendation is our deployment of learning and delivery modality center okay so improve uh, the first one improve the readiness of teachers and school leaders for the implementation and management of learning delivery modalities several educators were having a hard time using online learning modalities so it is very important uh, for the new learning system as of now that we are having the online online uh, online or video conferencing it is very important for the teachers and school leaders to be prepared so as the students know how to engage with the new learning system teachers and school officials must learn as well okay so for the misunderstanding became uh, to avoid it okay so next is the government should provide rooms or stations that include computers and laptops that can be used by teachers and students for learning so back in senior high school we 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 have experience having a computer laboratory in in each uh let's say university schools like that so they the government provided for the students uh engage with the more in a modern like new learning system so it is very important as well and then the next is the school should conduct on the go consultation during delivery of mod modules okay so that is an important part as well and then the next is the school should design a technology-based learning strategy that engages teachers students parents and school admin administrators so back in elementary we we uh, experienced a lot of meetings before uh, the giving of grades there would be a teacher parents meeting so so for the teacher to report is what's going on with their child so what what is the uh the performance how how the child perform inside the classroom okay so and for the uh admin school administrator as well so having a home meeting like at the principal uh a meeting or con conducting a meeting inside the school so that they will know how the school process uh on the go okay and then the last one would be the launch a free online training and resource hub which can assess and download their learning materials and watch lectures in just one click so with the help of modern technologies we can assure that uh, by the help of the internet or internet uh, it, it is very basic to find answers by just cl clicking some something okay so teachers provide uh, links that uh, that relates to the discussion so for the students to have to to avoid uh hardships in finding answers or explaining this topic so that is it okay so for the next uh, on our recommendation uh, this would be the last in the slide okay so here uh for the orientation of parents or guardian of learners and trainings okay so first every parent should remember that educators are not the only ones accountable for their children's development so it is the guardians who carry a great deal of responsibility for them so here uh we uh it's it, it is about that it is not the teacher's role to to have some uh uh, delivery for their for the children's development but of course the parents as well so the parents especially where in the house the parents should provide the first knowledge that is needed by their children 
So it is very, very, very important to teach your your children to learn. Okay, so you must give them a uh, motivation to learn. You must you must help them. You must guide them. Okay. So the next is the government should. Uh, I'm sorry. So teachers should seize the opportunity in which they may not only create relationship with their learners but also with the parents of their students. So teachers and parents must understand that in order for a student to learn effectively, both must collaborate and be ready to assist students towards progress. So I, as, as what I have said earlier, teacher-parents conferencing is very important for them to process or for them to build up a relationship on how they are going to guide the children or the students. Okay, so for the last one, the school administrations, educators, and guardians must have a meeting together where they will discuss the importance of their roles to help the learners learn, understand, and grow properly. So that is it. That is the main point. That is the main point of this uh, uh, of this orientation of parents, of guardian, of learners in trainings. This is a very, very important way that teachers, uh, should, uh, teachers parents, and the uh, administrator must collab collab with each other for them to assess and evaluate the students process in learning so that is uh, to, to give them uh, I, let's say benefits for them to their learning